everybody. I am currently decluttering my room and it just dawned on me that I should be vlogging this. Let's shut the closet door because it's not cute. Slightly more aesthetic when it's shut, but not that much, but a little bit. So I'm decluttering. Right now I'm doing my little makeup area and it just dawned on me that I should be vlogging this. So Ugh. I'm gonna set y'all up. I'm gonna um, set up my new organizer for my makeup and right now I'm just getting rid of like everything that I don't want like this I've had forever it's just like a pressed powder that I've only used like twice and just kind of going through and getting rid of things I don't want or need cool Here's the new setup, it looks so much better. Um, my mirror got fingerprints on it while I was moving it. I should have wiped this off. I haven't wiped it off recently. Um, it looks pretty much the same as the last time I wiped it off. It's kind of stained. I need to paint it another color, uh, another coat of white. But for now, here's what we've got. So I'm still keeping all my brushes in my Starbucks London mug. I got this when I went to London. And then I'm gonna keep my face palette up top. I don't have anything in this drawer. I don't think I have anything in either of these. Yeah, not yet. Then I have my cinnamon swirl palette in here. And I'll keep like my seasonal palettes um, as long as they fit. Like my Morphe palette's never gonna fit in this, but um, I can still keep like my summery palettes in here and stuff. Um, like I usually use one palette per season and then the rest stay in my closet during the winter or summer months. And here I have some more eye products. I have my Thrive Cosmetics Eye Brightening, Brilliant Eye Brightening Stick, whatever it's called. And then my two cheaper palettes. These are from the drugstore. Well, actually, this is from Dollar Tree. And then my sharpeners in here because in here is my pencil eyeliner somewhere. Yeah, it's this little one right here. And my mascaras. Oh, come on. Are you serious already? We're going to do this. Then I have my blushes, and this is um, just like a bronzer and a mirror. And here is my concealer products and contour wand in there with my beauty blenders. That's mainly what I use for my concealer. I'll move this back over. I'm probably going to keep it like here-ish. I don't know. I might move things around like once I actually do my makeup. But over here I have my foundation, all of my lipsticks. I put like my seasonal ones back here that I don't use frequently. And then these ones are like the ones I use more frequently. I have more in my purse. And then these ones back here were too tall. So I put them in the back ones. And then there's my eyelash curler. My mom just sneezed really loud. I don't know if you guys heard it. This is my face spray that I use. And then I have my setting powder in here. Um, I have my rose quartz like roller in there. It's cleaned off. I don't think I have anything in these drawers. Oh, and here's some eyelashes. More eyelashes and my eyelash glue. And that's it. So some of the drawers don't have anything in them yet, but 
overall I like this. I use my ring light for um, light while I'm working on my makeup because this doesn't work. And then I think I'm going to move this back over here. I'm working on taking down my tree. And I'm going to hang up this mirror laying right here. I'm like revamping my room right now. But I'm going to put that on the wall, I think. And I'm going to see. I don't know if it's going to work out. But I want to put those vanity lights on this mirror. Because this mirror is enormous. And it's really pretty. And I think it would look really good hanging on the wall. And then I could have this there. And everything would just look really good. Um, I also might try to thrift a new vanity. Because this one is very small. And I obviously love makeup. So I need more storage. Oh, it's not shut all the way. I hate when I do that. It's 8.56. So yes, it's about 9 o'clock. And I am going to go to bed here soon. I'm going to read my book. I'm, lately I've been reading Cleaning Up Your Mental Mess by Dr. Caroline Leaf. I really like Dr. Leaf. I think she's super smart and she's inspired me in a lot of ways and she talks a lot about the mind and like changing the, your thinking patterns and stuff and so this book has been really interesting and then she's just inspired me in so many ways my whole life but especially like the last couple of days and some of it, it has to do with her book and some of it just has to do with things that I like want for my future and I really think she's awesome so you guys should check that book out. I'm gonna go through all of my bags and purses tomorrow and clean up my boxes, finish taking down my Christmas tree and I also want to film my winter coat collection. I was just, was just gonna do my fur coats but I think I might include a couple of other winter coats that I really like and maybe like styling them. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I might just do fur coats because I did that one year and it was just pretty simple. I just showed my fur coats, talked about when I got them and what they meant to me, and then moved on to the next one. And it has like a, over a thousand views, and I've had that video up for like two years, and I've gotten a lot more since then, so I kind of want to do like an updated one. So I'm really excited to show that, so definitely check that out. It'll probably be up after I do this vlog, so I'm going to film that tomorrow too. guys it's Wednesday now I am at the coffee shop that I'm going to hang out with my friend at it's called mugs wigs I I showed it on my vlogs before but I haven't been here in close to a year I think um, maybe six months at the at the least but I'm meeting with one of my friends her name's Michelle she is super awesome and she I met her through one of my other friends, so I'm really excited to like sit down and talk with her, get to know her a little bit, and we've been trying to meet for like a couple weeks, so we finally were able to schedule something for today, and I'm very excited to see her, so I don't think she's here yet. We're not meeting until 4.30, and it's only 4.16, so I might just head in, get a table, figure out what I'm going to get to drink because I love their tea and their coffee. Unfortunately, I can't have caffeine after like two um, because it keeps me up at night. Like, like I'll be up till two in the morning if I have a cup of coffee now at this hour. So I don't know what I'm gonna get. Plus, I had coffee at like 1.45, so it's like right before my cutoff time. So I'm kind of buzzing a little bit still. I'm pretty sensitive to caffeine. Like last night I went out and I had two Crown & Cokes. So it's probably like, I probably had like, uh, I feel like they put a lot of Coke in their Crown and Cokes at Winking Lizard where I get wings on Tuesdays sometimes. And they put a lot of Coke in it and I feel like that's why I was up late last night because I had caffeine and it, sometimes even if I drink like a Coca-Cola, it'll keep me up until 1 or 2 in the morning. And last night I was up till probably 1.15 when I finally fell asleep. So that's not fun. Like it's... And then, you know, I go to work the next day and I'm groggy and I'm tired and I'm like, I shouldn't have drank that caffeine. Um, or sometimes I stay up too late, like talking and laughing with my friends on the phone or my brother and my mom because we all, just, I don't know, I just love to laugh. So I <laughs> sometimes I get going at night and I should not do that because it makes me not be able to fall asleep. So anyway, I'm going to head in there and get a drink and a table for me and Michelle.
good morning. It is Saturday. I have not vlogged yet this weekend, so I thought I would pick up the camera um, and start vlogging for the weekend. I am currently getting all of my lipsticks out of my purse because almost all of them are in here and I want to put them back so that I know where they are. And last night I went out with a couple friends. We just had a couple drinks and had a girls night. So it was, it was a lot of fun. I had a good time. But also now I'm very tired. So I got to try to push through the day. Um, so yeah, I'm really tired. And I think today I am maybe going to go thrifting. My mom said something about maybe going. But also need to get pictures for IG. And tonight I'm going to church and then out to dinner with some friends. So should be a fun day. I just wanted to pop on and say, what's up? And now I'm just gonna put on my makeup and I will catch up with you guys after because I am going to be filming a video today. So I need to get to it. Okay, so I finished filming my fashion video. I did my coat collection this week and I'm really excited because I'm trying to get together a video for Valentine's Day, so planning that. I think I'm going to do a couple pieces from Amazon. This is like what the plan is right now. Hopefully it works out. Um, and also, maybe my Shein order will come in time, and I can use some of those pieces as well for like Valentine's Day outfit ideas. I don't think I'm going to have a Valentine this year again, which stinks. I kind of thought I was going to, but you know. Sometimes things don't go as planned in life, which is okay. God has a plan for me and a man for me. <laughs> so I'm just kind of straightening up a little bit because we got new windows, which are so beautiful. Let me show you them. We just got these new windows put in a couple of days ago. I was going to show you guys um, like how my room looked before because I had to move everything, like basically push it to the center of my room. And I had just decorated this shelf all nice and then... I had to take it all down so that the guy could like get the window in and I had to move this so now my whole room is just still kind of needs put back together. But they're so pretty. I can't wait to open them up in the spring. I'll actually be able to open both because in the past only one opened. The other one was like, I don't know, it would just wouldn't open and then it didn't even have a screen anyway. So that'll be nice and I'm really excited about that. So now I'm just gonna relax and watch some Netflix, I think. My grandma's bringing me lunch. She was out and about and she's coming over, so I asked her if she'd stop at McDonald's for me. So I'm getting my Lisa Lisa D1 meal. She's like another YouTuber and Instagrammer. She seems like a really awesome person. And she always gets a double hamburger from McDonald's. She only gets like one top. I think it's just ketchup. Um, but I just, I can eat everything. She's, she has IBS and can't eat a lot of foods, but, um, I do like it because I can eat it with, like, it's not, it doesn't have carbs, you know? So, really hungry, so hopefully she'll be here soon, but that's about it for now. I'm probably gonna edit a little bit. I am working on getting my vlog up for the week, and I'm just gonna lay in bed and relax till it's time for church. Okay, doing some pictures now, and... Here is look number one. We're just doing it here at the house. My mom is very loud. I'm sorry. <sighs> We're talking about my neighbor. He was like outside while we took the first picture and my mom was like, smile. And then he, he did and he had his own little way of making it funny. So we were just talking about that. But anyway, here's the first outfit. Um, these boots are from uh, Amazon. I don't know. I got them for Christmas. And then these like pleather leggings are from Walmart. This long sleeve white shirt is from Walmart. It's the one I've been wearing all day today. This jacket is, I believe, from Forever 21, but it's a few years old, and then it's my grandma's scarf. <laughs> so, also, do you guys like my mirror better here? Because I feel like the lighting is way better. <sighs> and as long as I make my bed, the background looks really good and keep, like, this back spot clean. Um, I don't know. I just think that you can see my outfit a lot better, and it's a lot more clean and crisp, I guess. Um, I just need to donate that stuff, those two bags, and then this stuff was all, like, dispersed throughout my room before we got the windows put in. So I'm going to change into that outfit on my bed now, and then I'm going to do my 
uh, neuro cycle for the day, which I think I talked about that. Yes, I did. So I'm gonna do that after I um, take this second photo. Okay, here is look number two. My closet door's open because I've been getting ready, but this is look two. Uh, where is the lighting? Hello, oh my God, what is happening? Okay, so, whoa, the exposure is like way up. Um, here is look number two. Um, this one is like very cute. Oh my God, I don't know what's happening with this lighting right now, but I'm wearing my green Gap hoodie and this chain necklace from Forever 21 and this like mock turtleneck from Forever 21 and black jeans and then I'm gonna wear my docks and then this purse is from Amazon. These jeans are Calvin Klein. They're super cute. They're thrifted. I don't know if you can even see them because lighting, I don't know what happened, but it was really great and now it's not, so. Okay, well, let's uh, get recentered here and go outside into the cold and take more pictures, yeah. This button up that's a little bit big and oversized so I tied it right here at the bottom and it covers my butt because I'm wearing these like pleather leggings and these boots are from Amazon they're pretty old and then this coat is from Target just got out of church guys and I am very excited because I made some new friends today met some people so that's awesome and I'm probably gonna come to like their young adult group session that they have on Tuesday, so that's great. But anyway, I think today I'm just gonna chill. I um been pretty busy the last week or so between work and social events, so today I'm just gonna go home and chill. I don't really know what that's gonna look like yet. Might just be some Netflix. I definitely have a lot of laundry to do, so I need to fold it, put it away, deliver it to my family members because some of it's theirs. So I'm gonna do that and then probably just watch Netflix and eat snacks. Oh, I should get some snacks. I don't really have very many. Maybe I should stop and get some somewhere. Anyway, I'm just gonna go home and see where the day takes me, I guess, because I don't really have a plan, but I kind of want to do like a self-care day, you know? I've never really done a self-care Sunday vlog, and I kind of think it would be fun to try it today because it's like snowy and gross, and I don't really want to go anywhere. So we're going to do that, I guess. <laughs> that sounds good to me. All right, so, so here is the current laundry situation. Gotta fold all of this and I'm not excited. <laughs> okay, so I finally finished folding the laundry. It felt like it took forever. It really didn't take that long, but there was a lot to fold. So now I am just watching some YouTube. I am about to watch Stephanie Rose and I just finished watching Clayton, Delaney, Clayton and Delaney's weekly vlog um, from a couple days ago. And then I'm working on like resetting my room from when we had the windows put in. I still have like some things and things need wiped off. There's like dust everywhere. And then like some of my decor still needs put up back up on my shelf. And then I'm, I don't know, like now I feel like I'm restyling it because I've moved stuff around that wasn't there before. So, but this stayed the same except my perfume. that could have been worse but my perfume was not here before but I feel like I've been wearing it more since it sits there so because sometimes I forget to spray perfume but I'm just chilling I'm in my weekly vlog uniform my gray super learning center shirt that I don't even know how I got to be honest with you and I think I want to do this warming eye mask tonight I got this when I went to Dallas at shop miss a and it's like a makeup store where everything's a dollar. They have a website too. It's shopmissay.com. I should go on there because I want to try some new lipsticks, but I don't want to spend like a ton of money. So I'm also working on my February bullet journal setup. So this is pretty much my cover page. This is my cover page for the month of February. Looks like a child did it, but that's fine. Um, and then I've got my goals, some dates coming up. My habits and then here's where the month actually starts at so yeah I already cut a bite of my burger but mm -hmm. I'm vlogging oh. 
but here it is. Just finished up dinner and I've changed out of my super comfortable outfit into a workout outfit, which is thrifted head to toe. You can never see black on this camera. I don't know how to fix it, but they do have a texture to them. So that's kind of cute, but yeah, I don't know. I get a lot of my clothes thrifted that are like workout because I always find good deals. I don't know, but I thought this was something I wanted to share. So that's it. <laughs> okay, so I'm packing my lunch for tomorrow so I can rest the rest of the night. So I'm gonna make a wrap with these Extreme Wellness High Fiber Wraps by Olay and then I'm gonna put turkey breast on it, some iceberg lettuce, and salami. Normally I would also put bacon, but we don't have any. And then I'm gonna take these and then I'm packing some strawberries and probably one of my Chobani flips. Okay, so I'm gonna make a smoothie. And I'm gonna do almond milk and some frozen strawberries. And I think I'm gonna do like a tiny bit of banana. Normally banana um, is something I try to avoid because sometimes they hurt my stomach. Um, but I'm only gonna do like two or three slices just kind of for sweetness and to make it just a little bit thicker. And then I'm gonna use some natural peanut butter. All of this is great value because it's like so much cheaper than the name brand. So I always just use the Walmart brand. And I don't know, I thought about chia seeds too, but I don't wanna be like, yeah, I'll do some chia seeds. Oh, this is flax seed. Where's my chia seeds? These ones are Aldi's brand. And then if it isn't sweet enough, sometimes I put agave in it. Um, if I need it, but if I don't, then I will avoid that because it does have sugar in it, obviously. Not that much. It's only 16 grams for a tablespoon, which I know that sounds like a lot probably, but organic agave is meant to be more of a natural sweetener than just like cane sugar. So 